Good morning again, and welcome to the Brenda Perryman Show right here on TV 33, WHPR, Comcast 90 in Oakland County in Detroit. And I am so excited to be here with friends, sponsors, and just excellent people. And they are Drs. Ronald and Dr. Blake Livingston. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm blessed. Good. How have you been? Oh, I've been good. I've been good. Need to go to the dentist. Um, <laughs> this sign, I think, should have been black all the way. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll do it next time. We'll do it in black. We'll do we it. Well, we'll be down. able to put it on the scroll next time. I will be able to put it on the scroll because we are moving up. And, oh, um, I want to say congratulations on your beautiful set. And the studio looks awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm proud. Yeah, yeah. And here, I'd like to say... In public, congratulations to Dr. Blake Livingston on your your marriage and Thank you very everything. Much. You look younger. Yeah. Somehow, somehow. I know. It reverse the aging process. Yeah. I know. Rever- oh, it does. Hey, listen. And I'm I should sing- be younger I'm than single. No, I've been married 35 years. I should be a child. <laughs> but Dr. Ronald and Dr. Blake Livingston, you know, they are dentists. And they were right here in Highland Park at? 13724 Woodward Avenue. And you can reach us at uh, 313-883-3050 or go to our website, livingstondentistry.com. Now, before I even get into the little visual guide and ask you some questions, tell us once more about this program. And everyone, you need to listen to this because this program is one where people who have probably have never gone to a dentist before, will be able to get dental care. Um, Well, the program that Ms. Perryman is talking about is the (laughs) Medicaid expansion through the Affordable Care Act. Um, What that has provided is uh, opportunity for many people who were not qualified for Medicaid before to receive dental coverage through Medicaid. Um, There are certain requirements for people to qualify for this Healthy Michigan, it's called the Healthy Michigan Plan, and to qualify for it, you have to be between the ages of 19 and 65, and uh, you sign up for a health care plan, and a, a, along with it comes a dental care plan. Um, some of them are Delta, some of them are Blue Cross, and then there's Harbor Healthcare is another one. Uh, we recommend the Delta Dental Plan, and to get to that, to get that plan, you know, there's a, a few different uh, medical plans that come with the Delta. But um, it, all of these plans allow patients to go to the dentist and receive treatment for little or no copay. Okay, so this is definitely a great opportunity for people to receive dental treatment and sign up for it if they are if they uh, have not had dental coverage before. So you have to be on Medicaid. Um, it is a there. There are certain requirements, uh, I believe, for a single income requirements. income requirements for a single adult. I believe it's under thirteen thousand dollars a year. But if, for each member of your family, additional that number goes up. So if you have, you know, one child, I think it's like twenty five thousand. If you have two children, it's more. If you have a spouse and children, it's more also. So um, always something to uh, consider. And if you're interested in doing that. The contact information. Give me a minute. I'll give you the number. And all that well, stuff. basically, too, if you a lot of patients have already received uh, uh, through the Affordable Care Act. I call it Obamacare because thank goodness for thank God for uh, President Obama. It's a Meridian Health Plan. If you have Delta Dental through that, if you have it through Total Health Care, Upper Peninsula Health Plan, Molina, uh, Priority Health, Health Plus, McLaren, Midwest. If you have your medical plan through that. And you also have Delta for your dental. That uh, that's one of the plans that we take. So if you're uh, in the afford- in the uh, Medicaid expansion through Meridian Total Health, Priority, uh, Midwest, and some of the others, and you have Delta for the dental along with that, you're able to get dental care uh, that covers most procedures at no copayment to you. I'm talking dentures, partials. Wow. And some no gum treatments, payment. zero copayment, oh. extractions, extractions, cleaning, cleaning, some uh, fillings. some situations you can go to be uh, put to sleep, uh, cleanings, uh, uh, fillings, uh, a lot of lot of the uh, a lot of procedures that we do that would cost a significant amount of money in copayments. Uh, you have no copayment, save for a set of dentures, save for a set of partials. We've seen patients that are wearing dentures that are 20 years old that uh, have been repaired a dozen times and don't fit anymore. 
now they're able to get a set of dentures now, at no cost. Dentures that don't fit anymore, is it because <clears throat> the gums are getting smaller or shrinking or what happens there? Exactly. You've been, yeah, you've been around us quite a bit. You know all that. <laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly right. What happens uh, is that the, um, it's not that so much that the dentures wear out, although they can wear out, but dentures last about five years and partials. And after that, what happens is that the gum continually recedes and the bone that supports the uh, denture gets smaller and smaller and smaller, therefore giving the sensation to the patient that their denture is getting bigger. But what it is is that their mouth is getting smaller and uh, they, they lose their fit. Your mouth is getting sp smaller? Your jawbone shrinks and re the bone that used to support the teeth resorbs and decreases because their job has gone away. They don't have teeth there anymore. So uh, God made it so that if you don't need it, you don't have to have it. So then we come in, we have to make, make your new teeth. Yes, and uh, <clears throat> do you ever build up gums, or do you ever build up what people have already, or is there something, a prosthetic or something you could place on that's it? That's a good question. Yeah, uh, we, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a, you've been around us too long. We do, there is a procedure to build up bone after it has um, started to shrink and recede. Uh, it's a little bit more of an expensive procedure, you know. Most of the time, you can get away with just making a new denture that was something that fits more appropriately. Um, but uh, oftentimes, we do that buildup of the bone. If a patient is interested in getting implants and there's not enough bone there to hold the implant, um, and we got our implant model here. This is very common when we're doing something a uh, implant retained denture. I don't know if you can really see that on the camera here, but what this is, is it's a model of the lower jaw with two implants in it. Okay, everybody, this is your lower jaw down here. You they got have it. two implants right here. That's right, and then we hit, make a denture with two little attachments that attach onto there, and this snaps on there. Now, a lot of times patients... So would you still have to use the denture cream? Nope. No. That's gone. You that's, don't have that's to. That's all gone. That's out the window. That people. All right. <laughs> now that also the the other blessing to that is that everywhere that you place an implant, you will no longer have that problem where as time goes on that bone resorbs because the bone will recognize that implant as a tooth and continually put bone down in the area of the implants. So that takes away that uh, process. Uh, this is something that's uh, been been studied for many years. Implants have been around for a good 40, 50 years now. And uh, patients have actually grown bone in the implant sites and do not lose that bone once it's been uh, become part of the jaw. So that's that's really a, a fantastic thing for us. Now another thing, <clears throat> but I didn't know about that. I thought it, it, people have to use dental denture cream forever. Not not with implants. Now with usually with uh, uh, conventional dentures, uh, usually with a lower, especially you will have to use some adhesive because once that bone is gone, it's gone then you're gonna to have to require some type of adhesives to help hold, hold it in place. What are the other things that people have? What? To replace missing teeth? Yes. Um, there's there, Other options are bridges, which is fixed, which is not something you take in and out at night, like a partial or a denture. Oh, really? Right. It can... What we do is we, it, actually this is a model perfect for that. We cut down the teeth adjacent to the missing tooth spot and we create three crowns that are fused together and cement it on the two teeth and it fills in the space where a tooth is missing. Well, I'll be. <laughs> well, that's, that's uh, and that's been around forever and that's kind of old technology. Uh, and what about when people get, do they get their teeth bonded or mm -hmm. what? Yep. Bonding, bonding is similar to veneers. You know, ven veneers are like That's a what I meant, fake veneer. fingernail, basically, for your teeth. We shave down the front of the tooth just a little bit, and we place porcelain um, veneers on top of the tooth to give it that Hollywood smile. <laughs> and there's also a uh, an even uh, more economical way to do that, which is called uh, direct composite bonding which uh, Dr. Blake does here quite a bit. And it's, it's about half the cost of, of regular uh, veneers and can be done in usually one to two visits to give uh, patients that smile that they want. Well, the first thing a patient has to do is come in and get an exam, right? That's right, yeah. And from that exam, do you get a treatment plan together? Correct. On a first visit for a patient, typically what we do is an exam, full mouth set of x-rays, even if you don't have teeth, and oh, treatment really? plan. Yes. Tell the audience why you get x-rays if you don't have teeth. Well, the reason we take x-rays, whether you have teeth or whether you don't have teeth, is we're looking for any abnormalities, okay? Any tumors, cysts, growths, 
pa- any pathology. Any, any pathology, anything that looks abnormal. Okay. And tell them what you've told us a lot of times. There shouldn't be, you shouldn't have bleeding. That's correct. Uh, if you wash your hands and your fingernails started bleeding, you go to the doctor right away. If you brush your teeth and there's bleeding, that's not that's not normal. Okay, that's signs of gingivitis at the least. Okay. Well, what if someone just brushes their teeth so hard? No, very rarely does someone brush their teeth hard enough for them to be bleeding. Typically, this that's a sign of inflammation, which is causing that bleeding. Just like when you're flossing, the reason when you feel that sensitivity ask or pain, you about that. yeah, the reason people feel sensitivity or pain or tenderness when they're flossing is because inflammation. Um, inflammation is present due to bacteria and plaque built up around the gum line that causes inflammation of the gums. And then, part of the process of inflammation is uh, pain and bleeding so you know when you floss or when you brush in an area that's inflamed you're going to have bleeding all right I, I wanted to get back to one more thing quickly uh that we forgot to mention when we were talking about patients being covered for dental treatment um as of uh january 1st good news for the chrysler and gm retirees you're going to get your dental benefits back like what you had in the good old days. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a blessing there. I mean, you know, the, the car companies have, once again, thanks to President Obama and helping and saving the auto industry, um, the car companies have made those profits and people are back to work. And they are now giving back those original uh, benefits that the retirees had before they were taken away. And that is we have patients that... Uh, where Chrysler and GM retirees uh, have been with us for 30 years and lost their benefits, they still continue to come. But now they're going to get this extra bonus of having what they had in the good old days. So January 1st, uh, be alert on that. You're going to have your benefits back for your dental, which will allow you to get those uh, restorations and the gum treatment and the uh, dentures and parcels that you've been kind of holding off on because of the cost. Now you're going to have that uh, benefit back. What's your number again? <laughs> What's our, your number again? Our phone number is 313-883-3050. And if you need any more information about our office, you can find it at livingstondentistry.com. Now, do you have, someone's in the office now. Yeah, there are, there's people in the office right now. If you want to call them or you want to call us and talk to us right now, you can call here. Yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And we found that a lot of people, you know, the smile in your mouth is a very, well, it's an emotional thing, and people, they're kind of self-conscious about it. Absolutely. Yes, they are. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny. I'm, my, one of my goals this year was to read the entire Bible all the way through. And, you know, sometimes we read bits and pieces, and then, you know, you, but you never really sit down and read the whole Bible. I'm amazed at how many times I see references to teeth. In the Bible. Really? Yeah, even from ancient times, they, there there were biblical references to the teeth all the time and the eyes. You see that, you know, the eyes are the uh, body, uh, the, the window to the soul and that type of thing. But it's amazing how many times you even see in the Bible the teeth are referenced in in, in the scriptures. That's that's incredible. That is and I haven't finished the Bible yet, so I've seen that quite a bit. So. <laughs> the Bible has a lot of it pages. A, it's a lot of pages. <laughs> that's why it's always a challenge, but... It's, I'm, I'm fascinated by the, by the things you hear about and you get it in little pieces, but when you read the whole thing, it's incredible. And it starts at Genesis? Starts at Genesis. I'm on Exodus. Ooh. But I've kind of jumped around, but I started to go back to the beginning. Oh, wow. I, you know, I was worried. I said, if I say Genesis, would it be the right no, thing? No, Genesis is for Adam and Eve. Now, something that is very important, and I told somebody about not too long ago, was the uh, disease, gum disease that you can get and how... Um, it's cancer. You could get cancer too, mouth cancer. Well, oral cancer oral and cancer. oral cancer and gum disease are not directly linked. They're two different. Those things. Those are two right. different things. But oral cancer, uh, excuse me, gum disease is directly linked to diabetes. Okay, diabetes and gum disease are directly linked to each other. So uh, the the more out of control your blood sugar is, the more amount of bacteria that you're going to have in the mouth, and the more aggressive the gum disease will be, and vice versa. There's a direct link between the lack of control of of gum disease and your blood sugar, and vice versa. Okay, so people really need to know that we have a lot of diabetics in our community. How do they know they community. have gum disease again? Gum disease is evident by. Um, inflamed red bleeding gums uh, gum recession where the gum is pulling away from the tooth and showing the root surface of the tooth looking long in the uh, tooth long in the tooth <laughs> you know that's funny i just said that about denzel washington the other day <laughs> because they, they've had this thing on facebook who should play the first james, black james, james bond, bond and it was uh either 
Idris, Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Idris mm-hmm. Elba or uh, Denzel. And I said, well, number one, it should be Idris. He's the right age. And Denzel has gotten long in the tooth. <laughs> and, um, and Idris is English. James yeah, Bond is yes, English. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. But he has the physicality and he's the right age to start. And then some people said, well, Sean Connery, he got older. Yeah, but he started off young. Right, right, right. So, right. Um, so someone who's long in the tooth, how would that look? Long in the tooth is an old phrase. You know, it comes from, it, like you said, it, it, it means you, you've aged. And then the reason is because we didn't oh, used to treat gum disease. Right. Okay, so... So the gums would pull away from the teeth, and the teeth would appear longer um, in people who have gum disease. And you start to see that in older patients because gum disease is more prevalent in people over the age of 35. So um, long in the Uh-oh. tooth means that you, you're, you're starting to show that the tooth is getting longer. And associated with that uh, gum recession and that appearance of long in the tooth, a lot of seniors will complain to us that their uh, their teeth become sensitive to cold temperatures. They drink ice water. They drink uh, eat ice cream. Even wow. sometimes in the wintertime if they're outside and cold air hits your tooth, it causes sensitivity. We have many treatments that we can do for that. Um, but well, that is one of the signs. Well, some people just have sensitive yeah, some, teeth. Yeah, some do have sensitive teeth. But Well, what do you think about that Sensodyne? Sensodyne is a good product. It's potassium nitrate and fluoride, and Colgate has come out with their brand, too. There's a lot of, it's a big market for uh, sensitive teeth. And uh, those usually do a good job. Could they be ignoring something you know like you said people are getting older right. some have sensitivity. well sometimes the sensitivity can be caused by a cavity also they can have decay and when they drink something cold it gets down closer to that nerve because of the decay but in in many cases uh, if the sensitivity immediately goes away when you take the cold away it's usually from uh, gum recession and uh, root exposure which can be treated with uh, different medications now another thing that we see a lot of especially in seniors is dry mouth uh, we get a lot of patients who come in due to their medications, especially when they're on diuretics, which is taking a lot of fluid out of their body already. It uh, also causes their mouth to become dry, which can cause gum problems and decay also. So we see dry well, mouth every day. How does that day. happen? You- well, when you take a, say, for example, like a hydrochlorothiazide, which is for uh, high blood pressure, HCTZ. Uh, Lasix. Lasix. It's, an, it's also water a water pill. Yeah, it's a water pill. It, oh. it reduces the amount of water that your body is retaining. That includes your eyes, your, your mouth, your mouth uh, any mucous membrane. So you're going to become drier. Now, when you have a dry mouth, that, incre- that decreases the amount of saliva you have and, the, and you don't have a good of a denture fit, okay, because saliva helps dentures stay in. Saliva is the glue. Saliva is the glue. And then also, uh, saliva acts as a buffer with plaque and bacteria to prevent decay. So when you have no saliva, you're more susceptible to decay also. My goodness. And uh, And we have treatments for that also. Well, next week, because I think you're supposed to come back next week. Next Friday. I want to talk about, um, I want to get more into the cancer. Okay. Yeah, I want to get into cancer. Okay. I want to get into some of the other things. Oh, and we've talked about this before, but it's about people becoming, getting their dental care starting as a young child, okay. not having your children fearful. Right. That's very important uh, because kids form their opinions about the dentist when they're when they're young. You know, and, I know and, if I you, did. and if you don't have a good experience or you don't get exposed to it at all, you become fearful of it, whether it's for no good reason at all. Or yeah, because, I mean, dentistry nowadays is not what it was back in our day. Um, you know, it's it's a lot easier. It's more high tech. Um, and, and children we see nowadays, they've never had a bad experience, so they have no problem going to the dentist. So. Let's get that number one more time. Our phone number is 313 313- 883-3050. We're located at 13724 Woodward Avenue in Highland Park, two blocks north of the Davison. And our website is livingstondentistry.com. Okay. Okay. All so right. we'll see them again next week. Hope you have your questions. Remember, you could call their office right now at, at 313-883-3050. Okay. And we will see you again next week. I, I have table talk right after this. And we're going to talk about a lot about these athletes and what's been happening with them. And it seems like the face of uh, abuse is the black man. Isn't yeah. that I, uh, awful? Yeah, if it's bad, we get it. So I know, I know. Okay, see you in a moment.